Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I'm going to show you two really cool tricks to make your building be totally straight and take out any distortion using Lightroom Classic and the Transform tool. This is going to be game changer. Stay until the end. Let's get started. All right, so that's the end result that I want to get. And, and you will see, this is the file that I shot with. This is a long exposure photography that I did yesterday. Uh, it's a 30 second exposure at F20 ISO 100 of the Arc de Triomphe, beautiful monument in Paris. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my black and white preset. Look at that really cool black and white preset to transform this into a really sort of Ansel Adams black and white preset. You can get a free copy of all my black and white preset on the, if you have my free toolbox. The link is under the video. It's totally free. It comes with one hour of training on how to use them. But basically, uh, you have like, you know, you just you have some circles that you have to position uh, to make uh, the light even more in you know interesting this is not a tutorial about that this is a tutorial about uh, the transform tool to make everything straight and that's a good example so i like that black and white look at that it took me like three seconds to make an amazing black and white it took me literally one year to figure out how to make this black and white preset work i had to study a lot of books i'm telling you they're really worth checking anyways once you have a beautiful black and white photo um, uh, when you go to the transform panel, you can click on auto. That's your first option. But you see, in this case, it doesn't really work well. I still have this going on like this, and this is still not straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press off, and I'm going to create a virtual copy so we can see the before and after with the black and white retouching. So I'm going to create a virtual copy. Uh, two techniques I want to show you, which I use most of the time. There's many ways to do this, but you can use the rotate tool. And the idea of the rotate tool is you look at how this is tilted, and how this is tilted, and you try to have the same tilt on the left side and on the right side. You see this, and this is tilted in the same direction. And once you have that, then you go with the virtual tool, and you can make this pretty much straight, and you can use the grid as, you know, as a way to uh, make things uh, better. Okay, now we get some white here. So you can just click here on Constraint Crop, and that's gonna make it straight. So that's pretty good, and that's pretty good. I wanna show you another way, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to create a, a virtual copy. And that is using the guided uh, transform tool. It's also very simple. The idea is you have a little zoom here. And I'm going to, if you click one time and let it go and you, another time, that's going to make one line. Okay. But the software needs two lines to make this. So you do one line on the extreme of your building. And then you do another one here following the lamp. And boom, it's very straight, constrained crop. And you get a very straight result. So this is using the, the guided lines, and this is using the vertical and rotation method, okay? And just to show you, this is using the auto feature. It's not as good. So tell me in the comments uh, what you would like to learn in Lightroom. I try to make a lot of videos these days, and I try to make them really focus on one feature. Get my free preset. If you love black and white, it's going to blow your mind. The link is under this video. And I'll see you in another video, mesdames et messieurs. Au revoir.